My son is a drunkard. Even now, he must be lying on the road somewhere fully drunk. He doesn't look after his own wife and children. Where will he look after me? I am too old to work. Most of the days, I don't get even food to eat. Daily I used to tell her to study hard because it was her 10th exam. Though she tried hard, she could not pass. Now we don't know what to do. I am afraid to send her to work because her sister too failed her 10th like her. She went to work at an export company. Her health got completely ruined because of that. I don't know what to do with this girl now. God only must show us the way. Her mother passed away even when she was a little baby. I am trying so hard to bring her up and educate her so that her future is secure. But it is so difficult for me to afford even her school fees. Where will I go to buy uniforms and books? My poor granddaughter is getting punished every day. We have never done any harm to anyone. Yet, I don't know why God has done this to us. He is our first child and the doctors say he is not normal and cannot be cured. We have been to so many temples, yet God has not opened his eyes. For two days, his body has been burning like fire. Unfortunately, there are no big hospitals nearby. The local doctor has given some medicines, but it doesn't seem to be working. I have already lost one son to illness like this. I don't want to lose this precious child too. Tiruvirkkadu is a small township just outside Chennai with an area of about 29 square kilometers and a population of over 32,000. This place symbolizes in many ways the quality of life in rural India. A life that we, living in big cities with all modern facilities, can never imagine. Even the basic things that we take so much for granted are unheard of and inaccessible to people who live in the villages. One organization decided to make a change. Udavum Karangal, set up in 1983, is a non-profit organization serving the destitute and orphans. Situated right here in Tiruverkad, we could see the sufferings of the people of this little township day in and day out. We decided to take our service beyond the gates of our institution to cover the entire township. Thus was born Jeevan, a project to infuse life back into this ailing community. First, we decided to take care of the destitute elderly who have given their whole life to this community. They deserve to live in dignity without having to beg for their daily existence. So we set up the Jeevan Daycare Center for the Aged, which caters to their physical, psychological and social needs. The center offers them free lunch every day and primary health care. They also receive provisions to take care of their basic needs every month. After coming to Jeevan, I am so happy. I enjoy good food every day. 
They even give me sarees and provisions. I am so happy now. The Jeevan School of Nursing has been set up to help girls who have dropped out of school to find a new meaning and purpose in their lives. The school offers a comprehensive one-year course in nursing assistance. All the students passing out of the school are placed in top hospitals. Not only do they earn well, but most importantly, they feel happiness and pride in their work. When I failed in my 10th standard, I thought my whole life was over. Now, I'm so happy because I have a whole new life ahead of me and a bright new future. Jeevan also runs a computer center that provides training in basic and advanced computer skills to children. As most schools in this area have no computer facilities, Jeevan Child Welfare Services is an initiative to cater to the educational needs of underprivileged school children. These children are provided textbooks for all subjects, notebooks, stationery, school bags, uniforms, etc. Now that Jeevan is taking care of all her educational needs, I have no worries. Her future is secure. Jeevan also runs a creche to provide a safe and nurturing environment to children of working parents in the community. Special children need special training. That's what the Jeevan School for Special Children provides. The children come with a variety of issues including mental retardation, autism, dyslexia, cerebral palsy, etc. Here they learn all the important life skills in a healthy, enriching, stress-free environment. Special educators are constantly by the side of these children, encouraging them without putting them under pressure. The team of experts working with these children includes child psychologists, professional social workers, male and female professional educators, teachers, physiotherapists, speech therapists, vocational trainers, occupational therapists, a psychiatrist and a visiting nurse. The Jeevan School for Special Children has been a godsend to us. Now, I am confident that my son will learn to take care of his basic needs. The Gayatri Medical Mission provides basic health care facilities to the suffering community. Various specialists consult at the center, bringing their expertise to the aid of these poor, underprivileged. The center also provides ambulance services to ensure timely medical help. This has brought down the needless mortality in the community due to lack of medical facilities and has improved the overall quality of health among the people. Thanks to Gayatri Medical Mission, my brother has completely recovered. We are all now living without any fear because we know that good medical care is just a phone call away. Today, when we see the joy in the faces of these simple people, we do feel a sense of achievement. But the feeling quickly gives way to a gnawing sense of discomfort when we look at the enormity of the problems that plague our nation. There is so much more to be done and we can't even afford to pause for a moment to look back at our achievements. The Jeevan Project is just the beginning. We want to carry forward this concept to many other communities. That's possible only with the support of an important person. That's you.